This is not a joke. I'm 100% serious. This is a little conversation that I had with Kelly and something that she sent me. What's up, weirdos? The day has finally come. It is the actual finale of MILF Manor. I know this might be a boy who cried wolf situation, but this is genuinely the end. And I've got a special treat for us because not only are we going to be watching this big finale, later in this video, we are going to have a special appearance from Kelly. Hey, Cooper! And I'm 100% serious. This is the greatest. Oh, this is gonna be my favorite video I've ever made. And we're gonna end the season like we started it, with a non-alcoholic beverage in my SpongeBob cup. Also, would y'all be interested if I made a video like trying these weird five-minute crafts? Because I've found something crazy. Anyway, because I've got a lot of ideas that are outside of like just strictly commentary videos. So just comment if that's me. Okay, here we go. Are we gonna play Truth or Dare? Yes, oh my god, this show gives us exactly what we want every single episode, and that's why it's the greatest thing to ever grace my eyes. Every icky thing that they've done so far has been at the direction of the producers of this show, but now they're giving the contestants, who are definitely drunk by the way, full reign. Having my sister, and my mom, and the woman I'm dating, and the guy that my mom's dating, and Kelly's daughter, and son, and I don't know, this could get a out of control really quick. Oh my god, I love Jose so much. He's such a good guy. And I thought he was listening at first. He was gonna be like, my mom and my sister's here. And then he just kept going on and on and on. I didn't even think about that though. But him specifically, like he's connected to everybody. Except for Stephanie and Gabriel, who I hate. And that's okay because uh, I don't care about them. Disrespectfully, of course. I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> Emma. Oh god. Truth or dare, darling? Truth. Oh, you want truth? God, and this is why I wanted Kelly to make an appearance in this video, because she is like the greatest person in the show. Of course she's gonna be the first person to go, and of course she's gonna go talk to this woman to get intel for her boy. She, I said last episode that she obviously raised her kids as friends, but she also like, it seems, deeply, deeply cares about her kids. Deeply? Sometimes I stutter, sometimes I mispronounce words. I'm a weirdo. I don't fit in, and I don't want to fit in. You ever seen me without this? Stupid haircut? That's weird. I'm gonna have a haircut by the time I upload the next video though, so get ready. When you saw Joey, mm -hmm. truthfully, what did you feel when you saw him? You want the truth? <laughs> this is good, because the whole time Joey has been paired up with April Jane, the 59-year-old oldest woman on the show, and he's 20 years old! In last episode, as we all regretfully saw, her ex-husband came and just shit all over Joey's life. Bro, it's right. just rude, immature <laughs> behavior. <laughs> and me personally, I'm over April Jane. She was laughing, giggling the whole time, loving all the attention. I'm over her. And I love that Kelly's gonna put her to the test here. See how she reacts to seeing Emma, hopefully complimenting Joey. That you meet a boy or a girl and you just feel like butterflies. <laughs> it did happen. And it's, it's cool to feel that, you know? <laughs> Suck it, April! Suck it! Oh, you like to giggle around and laugh while your ex-husband comes and makes out with you and picks you up and grabs your butt cheeks in front of your date. You like to laugh during that. Well, how do you feel when this young, beautiful woman, Emma, comes and compliments your baby boy? You hear that? She got butterflies in her belly. Butterflies of excitement and attraction in her, in her stomach. Look at her right now. Look at her. She's beautiful, of course. We love her. She's beautiful. But she's a villain now. You know, I did think it was a little bold of Emma to say, she has butterflies in front of me since she's probably knows what's going on with Joey and I. We've had this connection. You think it was bold for her to say that she had butterflies? What about when your ex-husband came and said in front of your date that he fucked you so hard you had twins? Do you ever, do you ever, do you ever think that that might have hurt Joey's feelings? Twins. That's two sperm, two yeah. eggs, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> You thought that might have been a little bit bold? What about when your ex-husband was saying he wants to devour your box? He did whole, I want to devour it. <laughs> right in front of Joey, you think that was a little bit bold? Or when you kissed him while he said that he loved you. But no, 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 no. Her saying that she had butterflies when she met him, that was too far. And look at the joy on Joey's face. This is what he deserves. This is what a sweet young man should be getting. He should be getting this, not cucked. Next dare eats you. Yeah. Dare. Do a body shot of Jose? Oh, no problem. Hey, Jose, all you need to do is take your shirt off and lay down. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, what the fuck? He's the funniest person on the show. 
Jose sitting there so obviously uncomfortable as his sister tells his partner to do a body shot off of him. Weird, by the way. Me personally, I wouldn't dare someone to do a body shot off my brother. That feels a little icky. But he's sitting there like this, like, oh boy, and Joey. Jose, all you need to do is take your shirt off and lay down. He's like a cartoon character. I, I love him. That's all you need to do. Why are you acting so scared? You live in Miami. Come on. Does that face look like scared? Mm -hmm. Oh! Is, is Jose hot? Did, did we just rediscover how hot he is? Because he's always been the hottest, but that was just next level. Does his face look scared to you? <laughs> Suck it off his nipple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Suck that tequila up. Let's go. Oh. 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 Professional. <laughs> oh my god. Are we allowed to be watching this right now? Holy mackerel. <laughs> what am I talking about? Oh, gee whiz. Holy crap. Me trying not to get age restricted. Oh, geez Louise. <laughs> Kale. Oh. Come on, Kale. Okay. 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 <laughs> get it, mommy. <laughs> oh, my God. That's Kelly's daughter saying all that stuff in the background. What? Which, by the way, is so... Sorry. I just realized I'm so tickled by this. <laughs> it's dead silence from everybody else. Just everybody awkwardly sitting in a room while one woman says all that. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, and I don't feel great for Joey there. That's definitely not a view that you want to see. April, truth or dare? Um, dare. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I dare you. To give Joey a kiss. He's such a sweet, like, innocent guy. His sister, I want you to do a body shot off my brother. Him, I want you to give your partner a kiss. Oh, he's so great. Gosh, I really like Jose this episode. He's awesome. Move, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting all the, the all the women tonight. Oh. <laughs> wow, it's like a whole scene. Okay. That was cute. That was sweet. But there was no passion. There was no craft, power, strength. They're not making it past this. They are like, I guess they they like each other and they're like sweet to each other. But this is not. I mean, come on. This is milf manner. Come on. That was definitely their first kiss. I mean, as good as that kiss was. I just can't get over the way April's ex Bailey was treating. But also, I'm starting to, you know, get feelings for Emma a little bit. So I don't know. I'm conflicted. So we definitely gotta have a talk. I like this. I like this. He's taking the initiative. He's being the mature one, which is interesting because he's three times younger than her. By the way, three times younger than her. Keep that in mind. Let's go see what this talk is all about. Let's see what they go chit chat up to. And then with Emma saying that she likes me now and that kiss with April, I just need to get some clarity on the situation to see if April takes me as seriously as I'm taking her. I love this show. This is the most reality TV show that's ever happened. Of course, there's a love triangle and he has to make some sort of decision by the end of the season finale. It's amazing. The people who created this show should be given an Emmy and a prison sentence. And when he took you away, I kind of felt like disrespected in a way because- You know, when he did that, it, it's just his personality. Yeah, yeah. He's just like, boom, mm -hmm. before I knew it, I'm just like, where are we going? What, what's happening? But it kind of just left me in the dust. How come he's bringing up all these very justified points, like actually giving her what he's feeling, communicating very, very clearly, and she's just like, dismissing it because if you go watch that last video if you go watch that episode he is a demon i've never hated anybody on a show more than i hated her ex-husband and for her to be like that's just his personality it's like that's not the point like okay yeah that's his personality sure his personality is a demon who disrespected me and you just went along with it could we could we could we talk about that could we talk about that i'm gonna do what everybody does when they don't like somebody it's like if Hitler... <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, he pulled a genocide, but that's just his personality. Yeah, but we want to talk about the genocide of emotions that Billy did on Joey. Not, that's just who he is! By the way, Curtis Connor was going to be in this video, but he just sent me a voice message last night saying that if he ever found me, he'd beat me in an alley with a hammer. So, let's keep going. I don't think he knew exactly what was going on, you know? I mean, I didn't yeah. explain to him that you and I connected. If there's a chance, you guys will talk. And he's a super cool guy, very talented. Yeah, but if he's not acknowledging me, then 
why waste my energy trying to, you. you know, acknowledge him? Oh, and see, in that situation right there, I would not have the inner strength that Joey does. Joey is who I want to be when I grow up. I needed the milk, Mom. I needed some energy. You were really thirsty. <sighs> That's for you, big guy. Because honestly, what she said right there actually does make a little bit of sense, where it's like, okay, maybe she didn't explain it to Billy enough and he didn't really know what he was walking into, so he was just, you know, trying to reconnect with April. Maybe that's what he thought his role in the show was supposed to be. I get that, I get that. Like, that is a understandable explanation. Doesn't mean that how he acted was okay. But yeah, and to give him a chance, like, I, I, I get what she's saying there. And I would have been like, okay. So it's nice to see Joey stand his ground and be like, why would I do that if he's not doing that for me? Because it's honestly not Joey's problem, it's April's problem. If she didn't communicate what the situation was to Billy, like that she has feelings for Joey, then she needs to do that, not Joey. You know what I mean? I'm annoyed that she's not really siding with me because she knows the way she was acting was just wrong. It definitely makes me question whether the chemistry and bonding we've had as real as it felt. Exactly, exactly, and you should question it. You should, because it is just genuinely, like that situation is very, very difficult to come back from. And if I'm in a situation like that, I'm immediately cutting time. Like if, if I deal with that, I'm not having this conversation, which I'm proud of Joey for doing that but I'm done. I do wonder, what's it gonna be like at the end of this episode? Cause at the end, they're gonna also have to like, see if they're gonna choose to date outside of the villa. Outside of the villa. So I wonder what that's gonna look like with April, because is she gonna wanna continue to date him outside of this? I don't feel like she would. And I really hope he comes to the decision that he'd rather be with Paula's daughter. Paula, sorry. He is a very good person with a huge mm. heart. And I would love to see that. He didn't care to get to know me at all, so. Really, in my opinion, I, excuse my language, but I could give a to get to know him okay. like, at all. Okay. Yes, Joey, Joey, speak on that, Joey. Joey, speak on that truth. Spit your God, oh my God, how far we have come from episodes one and two. Joey, shut the fuck up. Shut up, Joey, Joey, shut up. Joey's character arc on this show is better than Anakin. I'm so happy that all of this is happening. This is, oh, this is the greatest season finale. I feel so good. Hey, thank you guys for watching this whole uh, season with me. I love you very much. I, we're, we're, it's still going. I just wanted to say thank you and I appreciate you. So now what's gonna happen is everybody writes a letter to their partner, basically saying whether or not they wanna continue this relationship outside of the villa. I'm very curious to see if anybody wants to because it's great, you know, for the show. Like, I get the show. The only one I can honestly see happening is between Ryan and Pola. But, you know, let's go see. I'm scared of taking it to that next level, but I realize that's someone I would want to be in a relationship. Okay, don't care. In episode five, they just became the most toxic and unlikable people of all time. And the video is, it's so bad that it's age restricted on my channel now. But if you can find it, you know, it's episode five of the show. It's the one where a guy goes down on a mannequin and eats an orange out. Uh, but I could, I, could, I could not care less about these people. I just hate them so much to the point that I just don't even want to think about them anyways. Okay, Baywatch, what the hell was that? What was, what was this, what was this whole move going on? Man, he was feeling himself. Me walking up to break the heart of the person who broke minds. And it's epic. And in a little bit, we're gonna have a special appearance from Kelly, which is not a part of the episode. Like it's an outside thing for this video. So just, anyways. From our very first conversation, I started a bond with you and my mind was completely open into areas I didn't know I had. Okay, 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 but there's gonna be a big old butt in a little bit. Please, I just am ready for the butt. Please give us the butt, Joey. Not in that way. Prove to me that age is just a number on your driver's license. That's right, baby. Mm -hmm. See, this is cute because he's like very sweet and he's like referencing all their inside jokes and everything, but where is the butt? I swear to God. If he does not reject her after everything that she's put him through, I'm gonna just be devastated. Like, I'm not gonna be mad, I'm just gonna be disappointed. <laughs> to sum things up, April, I'm so glad I met you and I would love to continue dating you outside of the villa. <laughs> Joey, what the hell? Why, why, why? I am crushed. I'm crushed. He just went through one of the most awful experiences in that last video. And he's just like, in spite of all of that, I'd love to continue dating you, 60 year old woman. I mean, I get, okay, good for him. I guess he's showing maturity, good for him. Oh my God. Oh, that, oh, that leaves a sad taste in my mouth. Sad taste in my mouth is what your mom's, no, never mind. You are free, Joey. Free to be close to me and close to someone else. 
If, for example, you would like to see where things go with Emma. Huh? <laughs> that was like the most intense Tim Allen sound. Oh? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, for a second I was feeling a little bit devastated that they were going to be together, but for her to say that... <laughs> Thank you, April. Thank you, April Jane. You are all sins are forgiven. We love you, April Jane. I'm sorry for being so mean to you earlier. I was dealing with my own feelings. Wait, so what's he going to say to this? I feel like it was the right move for my mom and Joey to just be friends. I feel like my mom's not really ready to be so romantic, especially with such a young man. What the hell are you talking about, Gabriel? She literally just said, okay, we can continue this together, but if you don't want to, I'll give you this blessing. But he said that he wanted to continue with her. What are you talking about, Gabriel? God, this is why I hate you. That's a great frame, though. Just him alone standing up applauding, but just blocked by the tree. For some reason, that feels like a painting. <laughs> if you were an artist and you painted that, I would put that up on my wall. So, okay, so is he with April then? What, so, or am, so I'm a little hurt the way April let me down in her letter. I can't wait to take the poem home and put it in my drawer I forever. No. <laughs> but, you know, life goes on and hey, if you get shot down, you get back up. Wait, am I tripping? He just is, he's talking like she rejected him too. Wait, uh -huh. but she, but she didn't, did she? Can you guys explain to me, have I drank too much of this Spongebob cup? By the way, I did not, I'm, this is like full. You're telling me that what she said to him was a rejection? You're, that's what you're telling me. I'm gonna make sure in the edit that I leave in the stuff that sounds like a rejection. I'm not cutting stuff out that makes them look like they're crazy. What's going on? Can you explain this to me? Okay, anyways. We're leaving the villa as BFFs. Wow. Okay, so, so why did you say that you, uh, whatever, whatever. Your feet look like they're dying in those heels. Oh, it's look. terrible. Look <laughs> <laughs> hey, he pulled a billy, but in a sweet way, not in a scary way. Walking up to present this letter feels like Judgment Day. Judgment Day or fucking fashion show? God, he looks good. Jose gets a lot of credit on this show, but I think Ryan all around is the most handsome man who's ever walked the face of the earth. I want my yes. I feel like if Paula shuts me down and she doesn't want to build outside of these walls, I, I am going to be crushed. Okay, so uh, that's his answer. He wants her. What's she say, though? Because the thing about Ryan and Paula is that they feel the most, like, realistic to me outside of this. He feels like he's actually grown and he's in a point in his life where he could be in a relationship with an older woman. The other ones feel like young guys who are just trying to bang MILFs. Young Gravy style. And we give hearts to Young Gravy, but this feels like the only one that could actually go someplace. So, Paula, what are you, what are you gonna do? I can't even begin to express the emotions that are currently running through my head, my heart, and everyone in between. My head, my heart, and everyone in between. I've got feelings in my brain, my heart, and my throat for you, Ryan. That's inappropriate and it's making her words sexual and that's not funny. Just because you can make something sound sexual doesn't make that funny. Get a better sense of humor. I'm me talking to myself. So what I'm saying to be clear is every story has a beginning, a middle and an end. God, she's giving me so many mixed messages. It, 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 one sentence it sounds like, oh, they're definitely together. And the next one is like, mm, it's gonna be a nice letdown. And the next one, oh, for sure. And the next one, she's killing him. Paula, please, please say yes to him. I believe there is room for more chapters to be written by coming to Miami real soon. Hey! <laughs> I will go to Miami! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wait, what? I was gonna do a whole yes excitement thing, but look at Jimmy in the background. Oh my God, I'm so glad they brought everybody back for the finale, because look at Jimmy. God, I love Jimmy so much. I'm so glad he's here. That's great though. Thank God that her and Ryan are together. And you know, Gabriel and Stephanie, yay, they want to me, yay. April and Joey, I'm still very confused about. I don't really understand what's going on there. But Pola and Ryan finally like being for sure together. That is, that's, that's, the, that's the conclusion I needed to their story. But now let's see what's up with Kelly and Jose, I cannot wait for Jose's walkout shot. That is a man. When I Spice said munch, she's talking about these boys. Yeah, I'm a baddie, you know you so munch. That's what she said. It's okay. I'm feeling very anxious. I know what my decision is about Kelly. I just don't want to disappoint her. Huh? Oh my God. He's gonna disappoint her? So what, we have to hear him reject her and then her 
confess her love to him or something? Buckle up for some cringe, you weirdos, because this is gonna this is gonna hurt. But shortly after this, we're gonna get a little special appearance from Kelly. So that's it, yeah, it'll make it all feel better. From the first time I saw you, I was like, oh, if she's starting this, oh no, oh no. It's always gone man woman first because it's either been I guess the woman rejecting the man. Oh no, oh no. Okay, okay. But I'm willing to make the effort to keep this connection going to see where it goes. So Jose, it's an easy decision for me to want to spend more and more time with you. Oh God, this is really, really painful. She's being so heartfelt, so sweet, so open, so kind. I love her. And if what I think is about to happen is what happens, I'm gonna be crushed. I wanna lift you up, empower you, and cheer you on into becoming the man that you were created to be. <laughs> Wait, who you were created to be? Is she preaching right now? Come on, church. All that matters is being who God created us to be. How great is our God. Or, sorry, what the ladies who were worship pastors was saying is, When heaven met earth like a sloppy wet kiss. Y'all, if you grew up in youth group and are not about that life anymore, singing those songs, ironically, is so funny. Anyway, keep going. God! I'm just trying to delay the inevitable, but here we go. Let's just, let's just... Uh. You are a bright, brave, and admirable woman. So full of energy and life. I know we have both enjoyed each moment day by day. Oh. Ooh, that hurts. The little, oh, as she realizes where it's going. Oh. Oh, God. I am hopeful we will have new ones to look forward to together. Yours truly, Jose. Wait, 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 wait. Did he just say yes? That sound, guys, are you kidding me? That sounds like a yes, but knowing what happened with Joey and April, that could be a no. I see her intentions, and she has good intentions with Jose. So I need to give them a chance. When can you come to LA? It's tomorrow too soon. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is, go why did he say all that shit earlier? What? Jose, why would you do that to me? You cheeky little bastard, you're so handsome, I can't get mad at you, I love you, Jose. I love you, Jose. I love you, Kelly. I love you, Joey. I love you, Jimmy. I love you, Ryan. And not the Ryan who does things with mannequins. But good, I mean, I, I, good, I'm happy. This is, I'm happy. And now they're doing little closing statements, but we really obviously wanna see what Joey and Kelly have to say. So let's just, let's just hear them out for their ending speeches. Even though she's known me my whole life, we still learn things that we've never known about each other. One thing I learned about you is... That I needed the milk, Mom. I needed the energy. Yeah, you were really thirsty. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not kidding. That plays in my mind on loop. It's infected my mind. It's infected my being. And I've got a little uh, thing to tell you about that statement as it relates to our talk with Kelly. But anyways. The bathroom is always a mess with all your makeup. But I still love you. That's it? That's all you learned? Yeah, I already know everything about you. Oh. I knew you were going to be crazy. In a good way. Wait, that was really sweet. That was wonderful. What a, what a great way to close. That is the character arc that we really needed. Not him and April. That's like back burner stuff. But him and his mom. That was a really sweet little character arc and like a closing that we got there. To our mothers. And to the sons. Our babies. Hello. To the villa. To the villa. Hello. To the villa. Mm. What a great show. A fantastic season. This is not the end of the video though. Let's go talk with Kelly. This is not a joke, I'm 100% serious. This is a little conversation that I had with Kelly and something that she sent me. I thought, what better way to close out this season than to have a special little interaction with Kelly at the end. The star of the show, the star of my heart, and my sweet, sweet twin flame. <laughs> So I sent her this message that says, I've been making videos on MILF Manor, and as the show has gone on, my followers and I have fallen in love with you and Joey. I just want to know how you feel about the reactions. Have you kept up with all that? The show is crazy, but we love y'all. And listen, I might be exaggerating a little bit because she was insane on this show, but I wanted to give her the props that she deserves. She's dealt with a lot of attention and like a lot of negativity from this show. So I was trying to, you know, be nice in this message. So here we go. This is what she saw. Because you are like the star of the show. And I know when it first came out, it was like very controversial. And a lot of people, like even me included, had a negative reaction to it but then as it's continued you are just like so bright in the show and a lot of people i think including me specifically like our feelings have totally shifted on it and you so like as the main character of the show basically like how do you feel about the reactions have you seen any can you tell that i was nervous to talk to my crush <laughs> oh man i was twiddling my fingers as i recorded this i love her so much although she is very controversial and did bad things in the show but she is so great in this show. Anyways, that's what I sent her, and this is what she said in response. Hey Cooper, 
Hey. Disco Mommy from Elf Manor. Love you, Disco Thank Mommy. Thank you so much for being a fan of the show. I appreciate you opening up your mind yeah. to see it all play out, okay? Yeah, absolutely. We did have a lot of negative press in the beginning, but then all of a sudden people are getting hooked because they're curious. Not you know? because so of you. for older men to date younger women. Uh, I live in Orange County, California. Right. Men my age just aren't really interested in me. They want to date a 20-year-old. So they would date my daughter. So I was like, you yeah. want to go in my swimming pool? I'm going to go in your swimming pool. Right. And it, it was kind of a joke in the beginning, but then I, I do tend to date younger men. Um, right. I, I have a very young spirit, so would I'm you attracted date me? to that. And right. like um, me? I would... think now the people are opening up their eyes and being right. more positive about it. And yeah, I just like want to would empower date women to go after everything that they want in life and Absolutely. let nobody stand in their way. So yeah. that's my message. Thanks for watching. I love you. I love you. I love you. I thought maybe if she saw my video and she thought that I was handsome, she would say something about that she likes me. But I guess she doesn't like me. I, all jokes aside, though, that was really, really... I was just so excited to see it because she goes, Hey, Cooper! And she's talking to me. And she saw me. She saw me in that video. And, oh my gosh. But, beyond that, after I sent her that, I messaged her and she responded. I said the thing that I feel like everybody wanted me to say to her. So, just... Here's what I said. I needed the milk mom from episode two is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Joey and you are the show. Then a little salute to the queen. Disco mommy. She said, ha ha ha, thanks. Yes, that was hilarious. I'm like, WTF, Joey. <laughs> now, I can respond to this one time. So I need everybody to go to the comments and like, give me what you want me to say to her. And the one that I like the most, I will message her and I'll give you an update. So comment what you want to say to Kelly through me and, and then I'll, I'll, I'll tell her. And by the way, we're definitely going to be doing season two when it comes out. Thank you so much. I love you very much. Please subscribe, you weirdos. Here's the thing. I am so grateful that this show happened and like everybody kind of latched onto it. It's helped my channel grow a lot. And obviously my other videos have done really well. And it's really cool to see you guys like support me and everything. I do have, like I had mentioned earlier, like some other non-reaction, like non-commentary video ideas. Like, uh, like a, I bought everything I saw on TikTok. You know, like th those types of things. And I think those would be really fun. I'm planning a five-minute crafts one. That's in the plans. I love you very much. Why am I saying that again?